Hey y'all, guess what? I have another fun story to share with you. Have you ever wondered what happens when the library lights go out? When all the lights go out in the library? What happens with all those fun characters, all those books? What do you think? Do they go to sleep? Do they have a party? What goes on in there? All right, y'all. Did you tell yourself that you are the greatest today? Ooh. Let me hear you say it. Say, I am the greatest. Did you say it? I know you did. You know what? I think you're going to enjoy this book today. All of my great friends, let me tell you something. Let me tell you what it's about. Clothes may mean clothes to you, but for three story hour puppets, clothes means open for adventure. At first, there are only rabbit and lion. Hermit crab is missing. Where can she be? In the library darkness, find out for yourself when magically only the puppets are up and about. Who's that peeking out the little box right there? When the library lights go out. Ready, guys? Giants. Rabbit pokes his head up out the puppet box. Sniff, sniff. Yahoo! Lion, hermit crab, you come on out here now. You ready to get out the box? Oink, oink. Lion snores just like a pig. Time for adventure, calls Rabbit. Oink! Lion snores and snores some more. I'm not sleepy, says Rabbit. Maybe Hermit Crab will tell me a get sleepy story. Rabbit digs down deep into the puppet box. Yikes! Icky Sticky gum, but no hermit crab. Rabbit digs deeper and deeper, way down to the bottom, bottom, bottom. One old sock, two lost library cards, and three birthday hats. But still, no hermit crab. Ugh, sticky chewing gum. Wonder how that got there. Rabbit goes looking for hermit crab. He runs and runs around the room. He looks high, low, near, far. He looks in the good smelling crayon box. Scribble, scribble. Rabbit draws a picture of himself wearing cool glasses. He looks in the yucky, blucky trash can. Nibble, nibble, carrot sticks. Half-eaten bologna sandwiches. Yum! He looks inside the toy chest. Dribble, dribble. Rabbit shoots hoops. Swish! Right into the mouth of the trash can. Score! I win! Shouts the rabbit. Rabbit, says Lion. Stop all that noisy, boisy racket. Some of us are trying to sleep. You have to wake up, Lion. Wake up! Hermit Crab is nowhere. Hermit Crab is gone. Gone! Gone as in lost. L-O-S-T. Yawn. I've been roaring all day. Let me go back to sleep, says the Lion. What if Hermit Crab got lost in a giant cave or stepped on by a giant foot 
or even eaten by hungry, hungry giants. You've been reading far too many fairy tales, Lion tells the rabbit. We have to look for her, says Rabbit. You're right, agrees Lion, rubbing his sleepy eyes. We have to find our friend. Rabbit is persistent to find their friend. Lion is so sleepy though. Do you like this story so far? It's a fun story. What an adventure, shouts Rabbit, but we've never been out of the library after dark. I'll bring a flashlight, said Lion. I'll bring a picnic, Rabbit adds. A picnic? asked Lion. Giants are very hungry fellows, said Rabbit. The map. Lion shines his flashlight here and there. Empty chairs, a library bear. In this corner and that corner, checkers, cobwebs, carpet squares. Up and down, a dark row of books, 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 and books. Hey, what's this? A map, says Lion, or a letter from a giant, says the rabbit. Lion turns the map this way and that way, upside down, downside up. Lion shines his flashlight on the map, squinting at all the crisscrossy lines and the teeny tiny letters. Look, a big green square, says Rabbit. A park, says Lion. And there's a blue circle, says Rabbit. Water, says Lion. What's that big red line? asks Rabbit. It's a bridge, says Lion. I never knew there was a park and water and a bridge in the library, says Rabbit. What an adventure. The two friends follow the map to the park. A giant beanstalk, says Rabbit, pointing. The two friends come to the water. A giant's bathtub, says Rabbit. The two friends start to cross the bridge. What if it goes to the giant's castle? Asks Rabbit. The two friends sit down at the bridge over the water in the park. Perfect place for a picnic, says Rabbit, except for giants. Roar, says Lion. Let's yell for Hermit Crab. Yo, ho, Rabbit calls. Yo, ho, yo, ho. She's here, Rabbit calls. Hermit Crab! Hermit Crab! 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 It's just an echo, says Lion. Maybe she went to the ocean, suggests Rabbit. The ocean is far, far away, says Lion. Well, how far is it? asks Rabbit. San Francisco, says Lion. Is it on the map? asks Rabbit. Lion turns the map this way and that way, and that way and this way. Well, let me see, Rabbit says. No, me. No, me. Oops. Lion dropped his flashlight, and Rabbit yanks the map away. Lion pulls the mat back and forth and forth and back. Tails flip, teeth grit, ears flop, feet fly. And Lion and Rabbit are tugging and tugging and tugging. What do you think is going to happen with the mat? If 
there tugging and tugging. What's going to happen? <gasps> Rip! The map rips into one, two, three pieces. Uh oh. Says rabbit. Oh no. Says lion. Where are we? Asks rabbit. We're lost. Says lion. Lost and found. I have an idea, lion says. A time to go home, idea? Ask rabbit. Crumple, rumple, crumple, wrinkle. Lion folds and folds the first scrap of map. A hot dog fold, a hamburger fold, and all four corners fold. A boat, says rabbit. Crumple, rumple, lion folds and folds. The second scrap of maps. A sail, says rabbit. Crinkle, wrinkle, lion folds and folds. The third scrap of maps, a hat, a hat, a captain's hat for me. No, me, says Lion, squashing the hat on top of his bushy mane. Lions make a handsome captain. Roar, says the lion. Shipwreck, shouts rabbit. Lion looks at the crumpled up boat and the crinkled up sail. What do we do now? Asks lion. Pretend we're on a desert island. And we're hungry, says rabbit. And we have to, a picnic on this rock. I'm not a rock says a voice. Do you hear what I hear? Asks the lion. The rock is talking, the rabbit says. Hermit crab, says lion. Hermit crab, says rabbit. You were not lost in a giant's cave or stepped on by a giant's foot or eaten by a hungry giant? No, says Hermit Crab. I wasn't lost. I was right here all the time. Why didn't you come home when the lights went out? Asked Lion. There's Hermit Crab. Hid from her, says Hermit Crab. I wanted to see San Francisco and hear the ocean. Whoosh, whoosh. Still up till midnight. Tick tock. Sleep under the stars. Blink, blink. Did you know each star has a name? Jacob's star, Kelsey's star, Samantha's star. The three friends gaze up at the stars, and then Hermit Crab carries her friends to shore. I'm glad we found you, Hermit Crab, says Lion. What an adventure, says Rabbit. Adventures make me hungry, says Lion. Then they can have some of our popcorn. We'll share with them. See all the names up here? Two, says Hermit Crab. Me three, says Rabbit. What an adventure without a picnic. Picnic, says Hermit Crab. There's no better place for a picnic than San Francisco. Picnic capital of the world. 
Lion spreads out a blanket. Hermit crab sets the tablecloth with reed between the lion napkins and pink plastic forks. Rabbit takes out carrot sticks and half-eaten bologna sandwiches and a bag of squishy, gushy, good for toasting marshmallows. A midnight picnic, says Lion. There's enough food here for a hungry, hungry giant, says Hermit Crab. Exactly, says Rabbit. wonderful story how friends want to find their friend and have an adventure to find hermit crab when you have friends who are there to help you it works out really well but don't give up searching you know what's so good about this hermit crab was never lost in the first place I love stories like this well my friends I hope that you all enjoyed this story. I want to send you peace and love, kisses, and a hug from Miss V. I'll see you soon, and I hope you're doing well. Love you.